All right, guys, today is the day. We're gonna do a battery update, and we're gonna do it with numbers, starting with these numbers, in fact. I'm getting pretty bad about, you know, doing, doing videos on time. <laughs> I'll record today, and then I might not get to the video for another month or so. So here is a reminder for me, as much as proof for you, the date, the time, the weather, all that, all that. Now let's go take a look at the battery. All right, first thing I guess, we'll just take a look at uh, terminals. How are they looking? Negative looks good. Positive, looks pretty okay to me. I don't see any corrosion or nothing. Now, I did just look up my purchase date for this, and I bought this February 8th of last year, and today's the 4th, so we are very, very accurately close to a one-year anniversary update. Now, I said I'm gonna give you some numbers, and um, yeah, we're gonna get into doing that. I'm gonna test a battery with two different battery testers and uh, do a comparison to the numbers that I grabbed from this battery last year when I first installed it. I know I did not put any numbers in, but I do have them. I have them, you know, from the date of install, but uh, this way we can do a proper comparison numerically. So you don't gotta take my word for it, but uh, let me set up here, we'll uh, start start testing the battery with a proper tester. All right, here are the two different testers that we are going to be using for comparison. Uh, a standalone dedicated battery tester from Conway. Conway. Yeah, I don't know how you, however you say it. I'll put a link to it down, you know, down there, wherever I can stick the link, I will stick the link. And then the one that I honestly recommend that you cannot live without, that you really need to get at least one of these in your arsenal. A it is a battery tester, but it's also a battery charger, a battery maintainer, a battery reconditioner. This is one hell of a cool tool. You gotta have one of these in your life. If you don't, you are missing something seriously important. Uh, link to this naturally will be down there. I was debating whether or not I'm gonna do a review on either one, and I think I will ultimately do a review on this one because I like it oh so much. This is a true multi-tool, and it's, it's a damn good one, folks. It really is. Get you get yourself one of these. Anyway, has a built-in battery tester, and this is a battery tester. So the battery is a, well, it's rated for 950 CCA cold cranking amps. So we're just going to uh, untangle my cables here. Yeah, maybe, hopefully. And uh, see if we can, yeah, it's gonna suck, ain't it? See if we can uh, make good contact because these things are finicky. They work on voltage and resistance. They don't. They don't load test a battery. It's a little bit different uh, mode of thinking here with these, but uh, they're they're accurate, supposedly anyway. <laughs> I've never seen one do it wrong, unless you have a bad connection. So this one, let me set her up here real quick. vehicle test, doing an AGM, cold cranking amps. Oh, clearly this is the last one that I tested, so uh, still set up at uh, 950. Now, let's see if we can beat the glare. How close can we get and focus? Boy, that glare. Yeah, you can kind of make it out, right? what it says. Now this truck has sat for a solid two weeks now, at least two weeks it's been. Uh, last time I used it, I took it to get it, uh, the vehicle inspected, and then it's been sitting ever since. I uh, haven't, haven't done anything with it. Sat here with the doors locked and, you know, all that and all that. I'm treating this exactly how I treat, you know, all batteries. This is what I do. I, when I need a vehicle, I turn key, I use a vehicle. But, you know, if I don't, well, then it just sits, right? I mean, that's what most people do, and that's definitely what I do. So I'm not, you know, giving any special treatment to this thing. Uh, that's what it looks like after the last run. And when I, 
when I turn the key in this, when I start it, I use it. I, I drive it for, you know, at least 10 miles. I, I try to get everything up to operating temp. I never just start and stop the thing. Anyway, that's what, well, according to that tester, that's what it, uh, what it looks like. Now we'll try this other one here real quick. My God. Okay, um, just to save you a second, I hooked it up off camera. This is what it's showing. Man, you got some glare out here. It's showing uh, low battery voltage, but uh, I can do you one better on this one. I got a, uh, well, this, this, there's an app for this. That's one thing that makes this very uniquely and kind of uh, specialized and whatnot. I'll just do a screen recording here. And uh, yeah, we'll move along to that. Okay, this thing should be recording, and I can just show you this then. Mm, testing options. Do a battery test. Blah, blah. And no, I've tested some other batteries with this. This is a 950. Type that in, haul. 950. Hey. And go. Now this is showing uh, low battery uh, voltage, but uh, I mean, <laughs> state of health is 100%, and the cold cranking amps, well, it's right there. Know what I mean? <laughs> it's actually still better than uh, better than the rating. Let's run another test. Just wiggle on the cables there a little bit. We'll try it one more time. A battery test owner. One more time. All night. One more time. Yeah, I mean, wiggling the cables, it brought the test value up a little bit. But, uh, you know, you're seeing what I'm seeing. Now, according to this, I should be plugging the charger in and, and giving, her, giving her a couple of hours on trickle charge at least. But, uh, like I said, I mean, I'm just... I'm treating it the way I treat all this stuff. This is how I do it. This is how I use it. All right, here is the following day. And what I thought I'd do is overnight, just uh, put the battery on charge, just to be as truly fair and apples to apples as I possibly can. We'll just do it, uh, you know, as fair and honest as, as I can. I ain't pulling no punches though. I mean, showing you exactly everything Everything that I see is what you see. All right, so uh, we're set up to retest this one more time. Now, I, uh, I charged this last night with this charger here and then unplugged it, which you can see the cord to her. Ready to boot there. Um, then I let it sit just, you know, overnight. Let uh, any surface charge and whatnot, you know, let the battery normalize, equalize, in other words. Uh, it's showing 12.5 now. Hopefully that's coming out. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna leave that one hooked up and we'll just uh, go over here, do a screen recording and uh, run her through another test. And then we'll, we'll swap over to my other one there and uh, test her again. See what happens, right? Yeah, charging test, uh, battery test. Is it, is this? Hey, there you go. Battery's at 100%, everything, state of charge, state of health. Our uh, rated cold cranking amps is 950. This thing's currently doing over 1,000. It's doing, you know, 1,060. So uh, that's pretty good. I think it's pretty good anyway. So, um, <laughs> yeah, let's uh, move over to that one there, and then we'll see what, uh, if there's any discrepancy or whatnot. Oh boy, here we go with that glare. I will, uh, I'm trying. Hopefully you can see what's going on there. Anyway, we should still, this thing remembers your last thing, your last test. Yeah, oh wait a minute, I did, I just did the wrong thing. <laughs> Battery test. Check for surface, yeah, 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 did all that. AGM flat plate, 
Boy, I hope this is coming out. I'm looking at the baby screen. My camera, the one I was using yesterday, I, I'm, I don't know. How the hell do you break digital stabilization? But something, that camera just won't stabilize anymore, so I'm, yeah, I'm using something else. Uh, anyway, we're set up for 950. Mm -hmm. That's what I did. I knew I missed something. Son of a bitch. Out of vehicle. Mm. Here we go. Uh, AGM flat plate. Hopefully that's coming out. Should remember everything. Cool cranking amps, 950. Yeah. And there is a difference between the two, but I mean, both of them are saying this is a good battery, which, yeah, damn well better be. It's only a year old. Maybe that's, hopefully you can see. Boy, I hope so. I can't, I honest to God, I'm looking at this baby screen. I can't see nothing. All right, so um, those are the numbers. I'll, I will also put this in text just in case, you know, just in case you can't see it in the video, I will put it, you know, down in the description and wherever I can stick it, I will stick it. So, all right, now we, we got a, a full proper apples to apples, side by side, one year um, overview, review thus far uh, with serious data, real numbers. So, all right, let's go in and do a comparison, shall we? All right, the first one we're going to take a look at here is the Conway, Conway, I don't know how you pronounce it, something like that. Anyway, the, uh, this I took, I, well, I thought to take this at least last year when I first got these numbers, I thought to take a freaking still shot of it, an actual picture, which I forgot to do this time around. Anyway, this is what the battery looked like when I first installed it into the truck a year ago, according to this Conway, Conway tester. Um, what, the, what we're really gonna have to focus on over time, slowly but surely over time, is gonna be cold cranking amps and the resistance value. Uh, this one is showing 232 mega ohms, right? That's what it looks like when it's brand spanking new. Now, this is what it looks like a year after the fact. We got, uh, whatever, you know, the resistance has changed a little, cold cranking amps has changed in a little, um, but it's, it's still nothing. It's, it's whatever, 2.44 mega ohms where it was, uh, what, 232? Uh, on the date of install, it is now 244, um, one year, you know, almost exactly one year later. Now, we've had some really, I mean, be in February, as, you know, here in the uh, state of Pennsylvania, this is really our, our coldest time of the season. So I think what's going on, the reason I had low voltage is because, well, the truck just sat in some really stupid cold weather. This was one of the nicest days we've had in, well, about a month. So, you know, I got out and about because, well, I had to do this test. So, you know, the, the battery's been sitting in, in a freezer. <laughs> it gets, you know, in the, in the high teens, low 20s every single night and has been for some time. I think that's what kind of ate up some of the voltage here. But uh, that's what it looks like, you know, I, I, one year later. Now, let's go look at the uh, uh, Top Don. Top Don? Yeah, I think that's how you say it. Top Don charger. When I first installed the battery, you know, I uh, took that, that screenshot because the app has that capability. Freaking love this tool. You gotta get yourself one of these. Anyway, that's what that one looked like there on the, uh, you know, date of install. And, uh, the, the, you know, there, there's, there's similarities, but there is discrepancy between the two uh, battery testers. And that's the reason I'm using two, just so we can get, you know, more data is never a bad thing, right? So that's why I'm doing it. Not that one tester or one system is better than the other. They're both working the same way. They're both doing the same thing, but you know, whatever, slight variation in results. But I'm gonna keep comparing these two testers to each other on this battery every single time I run this test. So we're gonna get real apples to apples data here. So this is what it looks like, you know, right on the date of install and oh, ha is what it looked like, you know, one year later. Now. Like I explained in the video, I did charge the battery overnight, and then I, well, I charged it until it was charged, which only took, you know, a couple hours, something like that. And then I let it sit overnight, unplugged. So 
it just sat and normalized, equalized all the excess surface charge drained off into the <laughs> into the cold night sky, if you will. And then when I tested it, you know, the following day, which you saw, this is the result that we got. Now again, you know, resistance is changing a little. Um, yeah, is it anything to concern yourself with? No, not until we're changing full full digits. You know what I mean? We're only talking tenths of, of a mega ohm here. That's nothing. When we start talking, you know, full ohm of resist or full mega ohm of resistance, well, now I'm going to start getting a little concerned. But we had uh, on the date of install 220 mega ohms of resistance, and one year later we're looking at 230. So you know, the two the the two testers are in agreement in that the internal resistance has changed a tenth of an ohm or a tenth of a mega ohm, right? <laughs> They're both pretty much telling the same story there. So regardless of the number, they're, they're showing the same state of change in a year's worth of time. So that's cool. So, I mean, that's the real data that I want to pay attention to or I'm, I'm going to pay attention to personally is the internal resistance and the cold cranking apps. So, uh, yeah, there we go. All right, that is the comparison, the show and tell. Let's uh, wrap this video up. Okay, guys, so um, those bees are the numbers. Now. Uh, this video was a little bit longer than I really wanted it to be, but I wanted to be, you know, proper, thorough, fair, and honest, and show you how I'm doing what I'm doing, the tools that I'm using, and from here on out, you know, um, I'm just, I'm just going to run the test. I'm not going to waste any time uh, talking about, you know, low batteries or anything. I'm just going to make sure everything's, you know, charged up, ready to rock and roll before I do the test, and then we're just going to run through numbers. Uh, year after year, unless, you know, unless there's some story, unless something happens, you know, I'll, I'll tell you all about it. Show and tell you all about it. But uh, anyway, that's uh, that's all I really wanted to say. This is going to be the end. We're going to wrap it up right now huh? for year one. So far, it's still turnkey drive truck, so we're winning. Uh, still very expensive battery, but let's see how long it lasts. All right, um, I'm running out to get a Stromboli, so we're going to finish it right here. Give... Uh, Get, you know, get, do the thumbs up, the subscribe, the bells, the whistles, or a thumbs down if you thought it was uh, crappy. But uh, yeah, this is uh, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, and there you go. All right, guys, um, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you in the next one then. All right, cheers.